so this is we having a layer tool panel from here we can take a layer option and we can use a shortcut la for going to layer manager for applying a layer we can take up we, we will insert a project here and open a file with name of layer and open so we having a now file according to this file will create some layers and provide color to them all the layers and other properties we can go from here layer properties how we can type a shortcut l a now for adding layer we have to click here on a new layer and we'll specify a name for which we are specifying a layer i'm taking a center line and for center line we have to define a property of a center line so i'm defining a color i want to keep green color and here we can load a line type also we'll click on this option and we'll go to load option and we'll select center line and okay and select center and okay so center line is loaded here if you want to specify a line weight or thickness to a line we can provide a line weight from here and taking a line weight 0.3 0 mm now if you want to add no more new layers you can click again and give a name you want to add you want to add a more new layer click on the new layer option and give a name visible line i'm giving a color to visible line we can choose a color from here also i taken this color and okay taking more layers adding hatch for hatching i need to give this color okay again we can take a layer we'll add the name dash line and we can specify color this is how we can create a layers i'm adding more lines hidden line and providing a layer to color now suppose you added a extra layer or you added a more layer now you want to delete this layer you will select the layer and you can delete this layer from here like this so this is how we can delete extra layers now here i want to add a hidden line in this going to option load hidden line now here i want to add a dash option load dash we'll select dash okay here we'll select hidden this is how we specified layer line types line weight and colors if you want to make any layer as a active layer you can directly select this option and click on double click on that layer that become active this tick marks tells that layer is active by default the zero layer is active in project so i'm getting back to zero layer again and close close from here i'm adding one more layer la enter with name of 
dimensions. I am giving a color. We'll specify some color. Let's see which color we have not done. We'll take magenta. Okay. Now we'll select one by one object and we'll specify a layer. Now here, first I want to give a layer to all the dimensions. So what we'll do? We'll select all the dimensions. In project and give a layer from here. We'll select this and we'll take a layer. We'll click on this dimension. Dimension layer is added to dimensions. Now you can control the layers like you want to control the visibility. We can hide this layer. This will make our work more easier to further specifying a layer. Now I want to specify a layer to hatch. We'll select all the hatching and go to layer hatch escape. Now I want to hide this layer hatch layer so I can easily select my project for other. I can I will select my project for others layer to specify it will make my work faster for selection and I will take this outer one I'll take a visible line now it's a main here we'll select again and we'll add escape now we have to add a center line we'll select this lines to a center line layer here we need to increase the scale so we go to property command pr enter and we'll take a scale about 20 and exit so we added a scale here now we will provide layers to other objects like I want to add this to hidden lines go to property again we will increase scale And cancel. I want to add a dash line to this. We'll select again and we'll select dash line and go to again property and increase our scale and cancel. And we'll add this to as a visible. Now we want to add one more layer for circles. LA enter. We'll add one more layer. Name of circles. Or we can type holes. And we'll specify a color to holes. And we'll select all the holes. and we will provide the layers holes. suppose you don't like this color so you can immediately change this color LA enter and we will go to this color option we will click on this option and we can select another color and ok color will be changed instant in the diagram so this is how we applied layer now see how to control layers and projects we having this options here for turn off or turn on the layers we having option to freeze or and lock or unlock the layer 
let's see how to use this option like if we don't want to show this center lines and project we can turn off this layer the center line will be disappeared from the project earlier we of the hatch also the hatch is also not visible suppose we want to show again we'll click on this option hatch will appear again like we want to show dimension also we'll click on this the dimension and hatching will be added so this is how we can hide the information in our projects this is how we can control the visibility of the projects now suppose you want to lock your layer you want that no one can edit this layer or about that things like i want to lock center lines i will on this layer i want to lock center line dimensions and hatch we want that nobody can edit this like now if i select to hatch that will be locked i cannot change any to anything to it. like i'm i'm going to select a center line i cannot do anything or i cannot change in dimensions because this is uh, locked due to the layer for editing you have to unlock then you can use this layer now we having a one option that is freeze it is used to freeze and lock as well as lock the layer in all the projects and all the layouts and all the viewports like i don't want to show the dimension in this viewport i will click the dimension is high it is same as uh, a lock or an uh, on and off option now we'll unfreeze it so we have seen how to apply the layers in a project